Okay, when you're drying the dog, on the jacket you want to dry down while you're drying to get it to lie flat like this. When you're drying the legs, which are going to be scissored, you're going to dry them up. Now that he's washed and dried, you can see the areas that you need more attention with the stripper. Areas that still have some thickness to it or some longer. So you can go over and touch up at any of the areas that are obvious. A little bit more work. When there's a little bit of dampness to the coat after you've just blow dried it, it also it is tackier and easier to grab. So just go over the whole body and find any spots that need a little extra attention. Okay, this is the jacket after the first layer of stripping is done. There's still some blown coat in here, and we're leaving some of it because we want some to, to pull out for next week so that we, oh, we're starting to build that delayed growth so that we have different length coat in the, at all times. So even though there's some dead coat, if we pulled all that out, he'd be bald. What we want to do is leave some of it. Next week, we're go going to just do a, a quick rake and some pulling 10-20 minutes worth of work and we, if we do that each week we'll have a nice healthy layered coat so we have to leave some at this point but it, it the coat looks considerably better already and I'll include videos of additional weeks as we do them the next thing we're going to do is just start some of the trim work he doesn't have a lot of coat uh, so it's just a matter of rounding the feet, anything that's laying on the ground, sticking out, we're just shaping it up. On a dog with a soft coat, you would making you'd be actually making a round foot and a column out of this. Obviously, there's not enough coat for a for much of a column. We'll fluff up what's here. If I was grooming him for show, I would use a product, a, a mousse to help keep it standing. You're better off on a hard coat making it shorter and well shaped than you are having long straggly hair sticking out all over the place. If your coat is sparse and you have plenty of time before you're showing, for instance, this is a nine month old puppy, he's not ready to be shown, you can actually strip and pull the hair on the legs as well, rake it and pull it, roll it just like you did the jacket so that it comes in thicker. And then you'll have, more, have a thicker coat to work with when you're shaping. Getting rid of the frizzies and expect to have mistakes that be your first time around just work with it and it'll also take a while for your your dog if, if you haven't been grooming it yourself to get used to standing still and behaving for you so give yourself time for you and the dog to learn how to work the coat okay so again just picking it up cutting just trimming it up any hair that's sticking out laying over the pads of the feet the hawk should be a vertical line so you're trying to trim it to emphasize the vertical line camo Often, just like now, scissoring a moving target. So take your time. Go back a few more. 
We also need to blend the seams a little more. We, we blended them somewhat with the stripping knife. Your thinning shear will take down the edges and you can actually take it a little tighter, very close at this actual seam and blend a little going into it. But you're just thinning it out a little so it lays flat going down into that seam. Same thing on this side. Good. When you're working around the test, it's a good idea to have them in your hand so you don't cut them. Protect them. The dogs move. It's thick right there. We could do it with a stripping knife. Down. Lay it flat. <laughs> 